Hi, this is Allison Sheridan, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. This week, I'm going to teach you about a really cool feature of sharing photos on social media, and that's how to make them accessible to the blind. The method is to add to your images text that describes what's interesting or funny or compelling about the photo you're sharing. This text goes by many names. Sometimes you'll see it called alt tags, you'll see it called alt text or alternative text. Sometimes they're simply called captions. Mostly you'll hear alt text or alternative text. So I'm going to try to stick to that lingo for this tutorial. Before we learn how to add alt text to our images, I'll show you what the experience is like for someone using voiceover without alt text on an image and then with alt text on the same image. On the iPhone, you can see I'm running Slack and I'm in a demo channel in Slack for my podcast. You can see that there are two posts with the same image of the sphere in Las Vegas looking like a huge furry pink animal. On the first post, I don't have any alt text, but I do have a little post written above it. On the second one, I did put in alt text and you can tell there's alt text because in the bottom left hand corner, it says alt. I'm going to triple click the side button on my iPhone and that'll turn on voiceover. Now I've pre-configured this accessibility shortcut in system settings to launch voiceover and that'll allow me to turn it on and off when we need it. As soon as I enable voiceover, it will begin to read to me and I'll slide my finger down the screen until I'm over that first image. It'll read that first post and then it'll look at the first image and try to read me any information it can find about it. Voiceover on, Slack, back, button. Epoch feed, 1.19 p.m. The attached image has no alt text. IMG underscore 0769 JPEG, image, button. Actions available. As you can hear, Voiceover only read the name of the file, which was IMG underscore 0769. Now that doesn't tell the user anything at all about the image, and that's a terrible experience for our blind friends. Now, I'll drag my finger down to the next post so you can hear the difference with alt text. Pod feed, January 8th at 1.21 p.m. This image does have alt text. A giant dome rising above the city. The dome is a pink furry animal with huge eyeballs. The sphere is dramatically against a jet black sky and has the city lights and traffic in front of it. It's playful and scary at the same time. Image. Button. Actions available. Now you can hear how much richer of an experience that is for the screen reader user. Wouldn't that be more fun for you if you couldn't see to be able to understand that it's a big furry monster in this giant dome? I think that's more fun. With social media, we share images because we want to entertain and inform. And why not make it as accessible to as many people as possible? People often talk about how they want more followers. Well, why would you cut out a whole bunch of the community just by not giving people descriptions of your photos? Now that you're sold on the idea of adding alt text, We'll go through a few of the prominent social media apps and I'll show you how to add it in each one. Each one has different nuances, a different method to get to the alt text, but after you learn a few of them, you'll be able to hunt down the right buttons to push in whatever application you're using. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.